Now, you may have seen a demo from OpenAI some time ago uh, about Sora, their video creation uh, project that's going to be available to us at some point this year, though we don't know when. It's absolutely incredible. You can create videos like this, just unbelievable quality of videos, all from just simple prompts. I mean, look at this one with a car like racing down this mountain track. Absolutely amazing. But there is a competitor that is available now, and it is called Kling AI, and it's been made by the Chinese, as I understand. And for the first time now, um, it's made available to everybody to start using. And you can sign up for it for free. There's a link underneath this video, uh, klingai.com, and they give you some credits. It looks like they've given me uh, 66 credits that expires in the first 24 hours. So here's um, an example of what we can do then. So we can literally write in our prompt and then we can choose the creativity uh, setting there. Then we can choose the whether we want high performance or high quality. I don't think you can use high quality yet, um, but that will be available at some point. And then you've got the length of time. Now, this is one thing that I feel is a bit of a letdown with all of the AI generators at the moment is obviously, you know, five second clips are great, but it'd be good if we could create a lot longer videos than that. So they've got five seconds and 10 seconds, but uh, if you're using the high performance mode, you can't do 10 second videos. And then you've got the opportunity to change the aspect ratio of the video and then control camera movement. But I think the best way to uh, do this is to test it out. Let's have a little go with it. Can you create a video of a windmill in a beautiful field of flowers on a sunny day? That will do. So that's going to cost me uh, 10 credits to try out. And it looks like you can go ahead and purchase like high performance video generation credits there as well. I don't know how much they are at this point, but we'll have a little look in a minute. So let's press that generate and then see how long it takes to create that video and what the quality of it is like. Just leaving everything in its standard settings there. I noticed down the bottom, you can also add a negative prompt in. So if there's something that you specifically do not want to appear in that video, um, then, you know, like clouds, for example, I've put a nice sunny day and I might have put a couple of clouds in the sky. If I didn't want that, I can prompt that out down the bottom left there and just say, uh, you know, please exclude all clouds from uh, the video. And then that's it. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video quick and then we'll see how good this is. And after that, we're going to try out this image to video. That's a good one. So you can just drag an image over there and then it will create a video from that image, kind of bring it to life. And there it is. And that is actually pretty impressive, isn't it? It didn't take long. I would say that took about four minutes, maybe something like that to generate. Obviously, it's only very, very short five second clip and it's got the Kling AI branding on it at the moment. So you can download it and use it. Sure. But it's going to have that branding on what their plans are for the future um, when it comes to all of that stuff, I don't know. But it doesn't even look like you can pay at this point. Let's just take a quick look here. No, it doesn't really. So not quite sure. But that used 10 credits of my 66. Um, so now let's try the other thing, which was the image to video. So if I just grab a picture here of a sunflower and pull it over, there we are. So that can kind of be the basis for it to create a video for us. And then um, with this now, we've got a prompt that's optional. I'm gonna leave it blank and just see what it can do with that image. We've got um, camera movement there, but it's been disabled because it, we're doing image to video. And again, we could have a negative prompt, but I'm just gonna let it do its thing. And let's see how good it is at actually animating a still image. And there we are. So it's taken this sunflower now and kind of made it look, uh, you know, animated somewhat. Like the leaves are wobbling a little bit. You can see the shadows on the leaves as well. And then the camera is kind of moving. So I think it's quite good. But I mean, what do you think that these video clips can be used for? My thoughts is maybe social media. Maybe you get a few of them put together. But this whole five, 10 second thing is kind of annoying for me. And I'm sure it won't be too long before they manage to um, make the a whole process a lot more efficient in terms of using computing power. Because I would imagine it uses a lot of computing power to do this. 
And so that's probably one of the reasons why they're limiting it. I think Sora is going to be very exciting when that actually comes out. They're doing loads and loads of work on safeguarding, I believe. Into, that's what the delay is. It's the text there. But now how do we stop people misusing it? Um, that must take quite some time. But I think uh, Kling AI has done a pretty good job. You can see other different videos and things that other people have created there. Uh, look at this one here. The, the prompt for that, a cute cat walking among the flowers backlit by the sun there. That looks really good. I have to say that does look amazing, you know. I guess if you could string quite a few of those together, then you could create a, a reasonable sort of small uh, short ad. Uh, for social media purposes this one's quite good too i quite like this one um the prompt for that one was telephoto lens shot ground shot harsh sunlight a camel and then uh, i guess it says like there's a lot of dust and stuff but that's that's pretty effective look at this one this beautiful wind blowing bamboo leaves i uh, don't know about that one um snowy weather yes but that looks more like a sort of christmas day type deal but yeah they're really good videos and images being created because you can just create ai images as well um, with this by putting in a prompt and then you can choose all of these different aspect ratios as well um, for different things so let's just try and create an image there let's put in an excited bride waiting to be married there we go and that generates or, or uses 0 0.8 of a credit so not too bad and it looks like it's giving us four different versions there as well and uh, yeah you can change that by the look of it down the bottom left to get yourself some more images if you want to just try and uh, you know get some different versions there in one go and also there's the option option to add a reference image so if you've got an image that you've seen that you quite like that maybe is copyrighted and used you know by someone else you can't just take that image but you could at least give Kling the suggestion of how you would like it to look and there you go that does look like an excited bride uh, he was about to get married. I really do think that's quite good, actually. And there's a different camera angle just there as well. And then it always helps to go and rate these, I think. You might as well rate them because it would just help the software get better. Um, that one's a totally different person, really. I'd say those two look very similar. They are, Those three look quite similar, but this one's like, you know, different person, really. Different hair and everything. But that is really, really cool. And then it looks like if you click bring to life, I suspect it will turn that into a video in a separate window. So here it goes. Let's just see. Yeah, there you go. So it's just put it straight in the image to video. So you can have quite a lot of fun with this. And I'll uh, I'll just I'll show you what that actually looked like in just a second. And there she is, ready to rock and roll and get married. So it's sort of given uh, a, a, or a half blink, I would say, and then um, just a little bit of camera movement. But it does look, you know, like a real video. And that is the purpose of this software. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with Kling. Um, and I think that uh, as time goes on, we'll see the length of those videos get more and more, I hope. But let me know what you think of it. Give it a try. It doesn't cost anything to try it out, as you've seen. And uh, let me know what you would consider using the video footage for. That's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.